Okay, hello everyone. Um, in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to get royal blue um, hard candy apples with um, the edible image. So first, um, because I have to make 12 apples, I have my apples already cleaned. If you guys don't know how to clean your apples to prevent the bubbles in the pinholes, I have that tutorial for sale. Um, it's written instructions. It's $65 and that is definitely the starting point. So my apples are already clean and then I'm going to go ahead and make the candy coating for the, um, the hard candy apple coating. So first I have my sugar, um, the standard recipe and all that information is um, in the tutorial. I'm sorry, in the written instructions. So I'm gonna add my sugar, my water, and my syrup. And I'm making 12 apples, so I have to make enough mix for all of my apples to be completely covered. And then I'm just going to stir this in, stir it all together. Now the key to getting royal blue candy apples is to mix the colors because a lot of times when you um, just add the royal blue, it comes out greenish, like a, a green, some kind of green. Um, and I'm running out of the white, I have to order more. But what I do is, I just use maybe like three drops of the white. You don't want to use too much because you don't want your blue to be a light blue. Turn off this light. Oh, it's shining too much. So I'm just going to add, oh, I put too much. Maybe like drops of white just to get it and I'll show you guys in the pot what it looks like when it's all mixed so I only added a few drops just because I didn't want can you see let me turn the camera around because I didn't want um Okay, because I didn't want the, I just wanted, to, wanted it to where it wasn't thicker. So, for every three drops of, and I use Americolor Royal Blue. For every three drops of Royal Blue, you want to add Regal Purple. Regal Purple. One drop of Regal Purple. That's the key to keeping your apples blue. And it came out in squirts instead of drops, but that's fine. And then it, it, you'll have a really pretty blue when you mix it, um, even when it boils. But when you get ready to dip it, it for some reason turns blue. I'm sorry, it turns green if you don't add the purple. And then I'll show you what it should look like also. And that's the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and cook my candy to the correct temperature. And then once the candy is ready, I'll be back to show you guys how to apply the images. Okay, so my candy is ready. I've already included my flavor. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip. And I'm letting it drip off to pre prevent that puddling.
Sorry guys, this is the boring part. And these are really dark. I probably could have added a little more white. Um, it depends if you want it like this is maybe navy blue so but this is the color that I was going for um, actually because they, they're having a royal um, princess theme I'm sorry royal prince theme and the invitation is a dark blue so that's actually what I was going for and with the light in the back you can't see the true blue but I'll show you guys in one minute as soon as I get all of these dipped. Oh, I need, looks like I need it more. So because this blue is a little thick you may want you may have to make just a little more than your recipe normally calls for okay so this is the blue that we have and that's with adding three drops of royal blue and then one drop of purple. So I already have my images already made. If you don't know how to print your images, I have a tutorial on that also. That tutorial is 65 as well. So I've already printed my images and cut them out. They're using the little baby. And then to apply it, I just pop that. And then I just go ahead and apply it to the apple. Nothing is needed. Um, it sticks to the apple. And my hands are clean. It sticks to the apple. And there you have your edible image, Royal Blue Apple. Let me take it out of the, the light. It's bubble free, pinhole free. And again, those instructions are available for $65. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.